Virgin Galactic, many of you have reached out and asked me uh, from a technical point of view, looking at the charts, could I share some information? So very kindly, Sensei has stepped in, as he always does, and supports the show and presented to you a, uh, a breakdown of the chart for Virgin Galactic. So I'm going to hand you now over to Sensei. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, Future Sensei here. Just jumped in while I'm editing the video to ask you if you could please hit the like button. It would really help. It's my first video on Martin's channel and I'm trying to get 150 likes for my first video. That would be the goal. So if you can all do that, that would be amazing. If you can also comment down below, tell me what you think of the video, the style. Do you like the segment? Do you like the technical analysis? Um, do let me know in the comments any questions as well. I'll reply to it all. And the first link in the description is uh, my premium services if you did want to have a look at my website. But let's get straight back into analysis it was taken from a, um, a live show so it's not concise for a video but we've turned it into a video for everyone who missed it do join me in next Sunday's show where I'll be doing um, analysis of SBC and other stocks thoughts where I think the charts going what I see in the coming weeks months years maybe even okay let's start with a recap I like to always put this in context for the, the SBC holders and investors. See where we've been, how, how the stock acts, and where we are today. So, SBC IPO'd 2017 September at a price of $10.50. For about, let's say, for about a year maybe two years, it was around the same price. It, it, it hovered between $10 and $9. And then the institu institutions came in, started pumping and dumping the stock, retail starts getting interesting, 2020 came, COVID came. So you could see what the stock was trading before all of COVID and before all the money started being printed. It was a sideways stock. The, the market valued this company at ten dollars, um, it was valued at that for for let's let's see if we can do a date range for about uh, four hundred ninety days. It really didn't move. That's what the market for its value was ten dollars. Um, then we had the twenty nineteen when a few th things went up, and then we had the COVID sort of crash. Um, the COVID crash was actually there. So we had a crash in 2019. Um, I think the S&P also went down during that time. I wonder if we can overlay the S&P as well, just to see what the general market was doing as well. Um... Yeah, so that must have been news driven for the SM, uh, SBCE. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to have a quick look at that. We can get rid of that. So yeah, that, that drop was obviously news, dri news driven for SBCE. Um, and then and then obviously it might be institutions dumping it, trying to get it for new price. And then we've got the lows of $6. We had that bull market for the S uh, SBCE, it took us all the way to $42. And then COVID came, took us back to $8. That fair value, remember that 10, that sort of $8 to $12 range, that's the fair value of SBC. That's what, the, what, what people see as the fair value. Again, this was undervalued. A lot of buyers came in, drove the price up, made a lot of money, then dumped it all the way back to the fair value at $10 bought it at $6, sold it around $40, and came back to that fair value of $10. Again, fair value at this point was a good buying opportunity for a lot of people. Again, this is when the market starts moving up. Um, the bull market, everyone knows about 2020. Higher lows, you could see the trend. Obviously not a perfect one, but what I'm trying to show you, I can just do it in different ways, is higher lows. Um, so I wonder if I can get the drawing tool. Here we go. So you can see higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. So more people are owning the stock. More people are owning the stock. They're looking for higher percentage gains to then exit their position. And then you've got the high, the blow off top. 
SBC has blow off top, so you can see blow off top here, blow off top here, and blow off top here. And then again, it hit its blow off top, the institutions, the retail all dumped it, they made the money they wanted, and it comes straight back down to what? To around that $12 mark, $14, back to around that $10. Obviously, it's increasing in, in value over time. Um, so initially, $10 was the value given. Then it was, um, when, it, when it capitulated, it was $10 again. And then it comes back down a couple years later. But no, a, a few, that was March. That was May, yeah. A year later, it comes back down to a level of $14. And then you get that move up, institutions buying, retail coming in, and then the final blow off top. That's the, that's the final top we got for the um, SBC. And then we started this downtrend, this bear market, this this never ending bear market for um, SBC. And and it's been in this downtrend. Let's see exactly how long. For eight hundred sixty eight days. And it's been quite a brutal one. Everyone's been selling institutions sold. They didn't want high risk going into high interest rates. Retail sold. They took their profits, um, and then and then a few people were stuck with it. The warning, the warning signs that were always shown. We ever since I've been on the show, I've been bearish about SBC, and for one reason only, is all these. There's not been a single higher high. It's all been lower lows and lower highs, meaning the trend is just not it's not something you really want to get involved with. You don't want to catch a falling knife. You don't want to be in a, in a stock that the trend is just down. As a chart, it just doesn't look like something you want to get into. And we've been following it. I've been saying sell. There's been The only thing you do with a stock like this is day trade. Um, let's make sure we're still running. Yeah, the, the only thing you do is day trade. And we've been doing day trades along the way. It came back to this $10 mark. And you can see some people tried to buy. Some people tried to push it back above the $10. Um, but we didn't. We didn't hold the ten dollars. We came back below it. Um, high interest rate environment. Some people were were worried about SBC's survival, which is which is valid concerns. And then we continued this move down. Um, so yeah, we've come into the, this area here. We traded at four eleven was the mark, and then we dropped four eleven. We said we're going to lose that level, and then we came back into a terrible downtrend over the last. Um, from I think it was we were live on the show. yeah 31st of July we came down and now finally we've got we've got a base a base has formed uh, 150 was the target throughout all of this if you've been watching the shows what me and Martin calculated together 150 okay we came down to 138 that was also expected that's why I had the line of defense and of course one dollar was always on the cards if they didn't sort themselves out which they had. thankfully they did um, we got the petition signed cut on cost otherwise we could have come down to one dollar and it could have been a bankrupt company but they decided to take action the base was um, 150 long-term buying anything sort of under two dollars was the long-term 150 was short so the true bottom we've been saying and, and we hit it and now we go on to the daily chart to give ourselves more data Bottom was formed, you can see sort of an accumulation going on, the final capitulation, and now we've got, what do you see all of here? Lower highs and lower lows. Here we're starting to see a change of trend. The bottom, the higher high, the lower high, and let me remind you what these, um, sorry, the higher low, and let me remind you what a higher low means. A higher low means more people own the stock, more institutions own the stock. People are more uh, believe in the stock more. What's a higher high? Is people are holding for lot, for higher profits. We're getting these levels. What was the two dollar mark? The two dollar mark initially, I said I'm, I'm going to take a short at two dollars. Why? Because it's a sell wall. There's a lot of people who got sell orders there. Um, and again, this is part of the small trades we're taking because, as we said, SBC can continue going down. Let's make some small trades so we cover our losses. And and that's why I did. You don't have to choose to follow it. Um, you can have your own strategy. Let me have a drink of water. We hit the $2 mark, sold off. But what was the sell-off? It wasn't a lower low. It was a higher low. And then we continued to a higher high. And it seems like on Friday we put in our higher low. 
Um, we're back above the $2 level, which is good to see. We closed the, the candle back above the $2 level. We hit the sort of the, the diagonal um, resistance line. And what we're looking for now is, a, is back going back to $2.35, taking out this high and putting in another high around the $2.60. We want this trend to continue. Um, let's get rid of this for a second. We want this trend to continue this. And again, this is not a structure. I'm just showing you what the trend should start looking like. It should start looking like an upwards trend. We should not start taking down these lows. If we do start taking out these lows, then obviously I'm going to start getting concerned again. If we start moving below 182, then yeah, I will start getting concerned again. But right now, I don't need to be concerned. We're above $2. We're putting in higher lows, putting in higher highs. The chart is suggesting we're looking at upside. And what, what level am I looking at? $2.60. What's the ultimate level? $3.80. And what is the level that SBC needs to do, needs to be at, or is is worth ten dollars? Ten dollars is the is, is the level it, it traded at for a year. It's the level that it keeps coming and testing. It's the level that I believe SBC is worth ten dollars. Maybe things don't trade at ten dollars right now. Maybe things don't trade at value right now because of the macro economics. But ten dollar, ten dollars is sorry, <laughs> ten dollars is what it, what I believe SVC is valued at, and I think that's a, a sensible area to start taking these profits. It's sort of a seven x from those one dollar fifty. So that is what we're looking at. There are there are levels to take out on, along the way. There are other risks, recession, stuff like that. There are other risks, but SVC should. I believe is, t is is a ten dollar stock. I think that's where its value is. Um, obviously, it's not going to be an easy journey. $4.11 again, it's going to be a very hard resistance point, $3.71 and $2.60, but we're going to be here every step of the way. I think we've caught the bottom at $1.50. If things don't change, if, if news doesn't come out in the technical um, respect, $1.50 is a level. I mean, we can start looking at sort of Fibonacci's and, and, and what, if anything corresponds again, $2.61 corresponds with the <clears throat> 23.6% um, level, so again, that's the level to take profits, the 50% sort of corresponds to that $4.11 level, so it's all, all, all these levels which we will look forward to in the future, but what we're looking for is just this, this structure to continue, um, and SBC is looking fine, and, 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 I, and I'm confident to say that for a long time, I haven't, I haven't said that in, in a very long time, actually I don't think I've ever said that, apart from sort of last week and the week before when we started putting in the structure. Um, I don't think it was ever at value in, until we hit that 150 and we did hit 150. So um, it's looking much better than it ever did for a risky stock, for a low market cap stock, for a startup. Um, this isn't the safest stock, this isn't what, what your portfolio should consist 70, 50, 30% of. It should be 5, 10% of your portfolio um, depending on your risk tolerance. Um, but yeah, as, as part of the of your risky part of your portfolio, um, this is definitely looking good. So that's that's sort of my full analysis on SBC. Um, if you have any further questions, do ask me. But but the structure is changing, so there is hope for SBC. But it's still a risky stock. These stocks have 70, 50, 70 percent chance of survival, thirty percent chance of bankruptcy. So there we go. There's Sensei's perspective on the stock. If you want more information, click above my head, click below in the description, and more videos will be posted over here with Virgin Galactic. As always, take care of yourselves and each other.